Today's lesson is about Billie Holiday. And on this day in 1954, 50 years ago, she recorded several tracks for this iconic album. I Billie Holiday was actually born Eleanor Fagan on April 17, 1917. And she first discovered jazz music running errands for her mom in Baltimore, Maryland. Billie Holiday would emerge as one of the most influential jazz singers of all time. She was influenced by singers like Bessie Smith and Louis Armstrong. Eleanor Fagan, soon to be known as Billie Holiday, moved to New York City at age 13 with her mother. And by 15, she was singing at a Harlem nightclub. By the time she was 20, she had recorded songs with swing legends like Benny Goodman. Her first big hit was Riffin' the Scotch. And in 1937, she met the legendary Lester Young, who dubbed her with the nickname Lady Day. Later in 1938, she broke new ground by touring with Artie Shaw as the first African-American woman to work with a white orchestra. She also became the first African-American female singer to tour the segregated South with a white band leader. Billie Holiday with Artie Shaw, Billie Holiday with the all-white orchestra. Now she ended up leaving the tour early because she became so frustrated with the segregated South that she was touring around. In 1939, she performed at Cafe Society where she enhanced her and perfected her now iconic performance style. Famous white gardenias. There's the head tilt. She debuted some of her most famous songs like God Bless the Child and the controversial protest song about lynching. A strange fruit, blood on the leaves. Strange Fruit was written by this guy, who was a white Jewish school teacher in the Bronx. After seeing a photograph of the lynching of Thomas Shipp and Abram Smith, here's an illustration of Billie Holiday performing Strange Fruit at Cafe Society. Now, Billie Holiday had some demons, and by the late 1940s, she was having a rough go. 1947, Billie Holiday spent a year in rehab. 10 days after leaving rehab, she performed in front of a packed crowd at Carnegie Hall. By the 1950s, all of it took a toll on her, and she unfortunately passed away at the young age of 44 in 1959. But let's conclude with one of her most famous quotations. If I'm going to sing like someone else, then I don't need to sing at all.